Hey, I'm Kier, and this is that vlog thing I'm doing. Another Kickstarter uh, package showed up uh, in the mail today, so I'm going to open it up and uh, have a little bit of fun. Uh, this one was a uh, Kickstarter from Steve Jackson Games, uh, who's done a lot of great games over the years. You may have heard of Munchkin, uh, you may have heard of Hacker, uh, you may have heard of uh, the different variations on those games they've done. Uh, maybe you've heard of GURPS. They do that too. This one was for Car Wars. Now, back in the day, back in the 80s, is when Car Wars started. So the game has been around a really long time. Uh, and for anyone not familiar... Car Wars is a semi-post-apocalyptic uh, setting in the uh, late 20 or mid 21st century, so not too terribly far from now. But back in the 80s, that was a long time away, uh, where the government has collapsed. There has been a uh, secession of a couple of states in the U.S. Uh, there have been gas wars, there have been food wars, there have been a nuclear war, and uh, most recently, I guess, a uh, final uh, incursion uh, war going on between Japan and the U.S. So out of all of that came the sport of auto-dueling. Uh, basically, you strap weapons onto a car and either in an arena, in a sanctioned event, or out in the space between the fortified cities uh, for fun or profit, uh, you go up against other people with armored and armed vehicles, and uh, whoever walks away wins. Uh, now, it's a skirmish game, so you can uh, just have one-off fights. Uh, it's not quite a miniatures game, but it does have uh, little paper uh, cars and... Uh, turn uh, tokens that go along with the uh, the maps and uh, they're large maps because a car is about an inch uh, long and everything is to that scale uh, so when you're talking a shopping mall as a uh, as an auto duel arena uh, you're you've got a pretty large map a couple feet uh, on every side and uh, what my first Car Wars batch was uh, the Car Wars Deluxe Edition that I picked up back in the late 90s. Uh, and what this one did was this collected all of the stuff that had come out beforehand. So like 15 different books and issues of uh, the magazine, uh, Auto Duel Quarterly, uh, and other supplements were all pulled together into this, as well as a handful of maps and a bunch of... Uh, car tokens and other vehicle tokens because they added uh, planes, they added hovercraft, they added boats. So pretty much anything goes by the time this one came out. What this Kickstarter was for was for a reissue of some of the classic uh, arena maps and some new stuff. So here's what showed up in the mail. First, we have the brand new Car Wars Arenas uh, box set. You, you've got to beat the best, and that means taking the many different auto-dueling arenas across the Car Wars world and testing yourself under all kinds of conditions. Car Wars Arenas gives hardcore auto-duelists more exciting locations to showcase their skills and blow away their opponents. This box set contains five two-sided 22-inch by 34-inch arena maps and a booklet detailing the special features of each arena. The rules also cover revised versions of the popular variants like AADA, Pro Circuit, and more. So, that's a uh, quick taste of the flavor text on the back there. And uh, we open it up, and we've got your first little booklet, complete with a uh, nice little ad on the back there, uh, give you an overview of the Car Wars card game. And then I'm not going to open up all of these maps, because they are large. But to give you an idea of what we're talking about here, Th 
that would be one of the maps. And then on the back side, we have another one. These are uh, pretty standard uh, race maps. And uh, so we've got a bunch of stuff like that going on. And as with any map, folding it back up's always the tricky part. So we've got two more uh, double-sided, three more double-sided sets, four more double-sided sets. So you got one, two, three, four, five different uh, maps here with all sorts of stuff on them. Uh, part of the Kickstarter was getting to name these arenas. Uh, so there's people who uh, contributed money that got to name uh, or rename these arenas because they originally had names, but they were uh, published back in the uh, back in the day and a uh, lot's changed since then. So we've got the book has the uh, rundown of all the special features in the arenas. And uh, so that should be a lot of fun to uh, add in to the, uh, the Car Wars game. Also came with Car Wars Arenas 2, which is another, uh, another four full-scale maps. Uh, pretty much the same deal, so I'm not going to bother unfolding any of those. And at the pledge level that I tossed in for, uh, we also get the Car Wars uh, card game, which I've played before, uh, and it's really kind of awesome. Uh, it's nowhere near as in-depth as uh, the actual tabletop Car Wars is. Uh, I've only actually had a chance to play the regular Car Wars stuff twice in the long time, the nearly 20 years that I've had the game, uh, because it's not easy to convince people to... Uh, take the time out to do something like that. Um, but we have the Car Wars, the card game. We've got the rules, relatively straightforward rules. Uh, th this is from the same bunch of people that did Munchkin, so you know uh, what to expect from rules. You've got a bunch of different cars uh, that all have their different uh, armor ratings on them and slots for uh, bonuses. And those bonuses come from the cards. Uh, and there's two solid decks going on with that. So very straightforward little game, lots of fun. Highly recommended uh, if you get out, uh, pick it up if you see it. Uh, other neat little stuff that came along with this, a uh, Car Wars patch to go on nothing that I own. Uh, a couple of special cards for the uh, Car Wars card game. So we'll put those there. And then, because it's Steve Jackson Games and Munchkin is their most popular property, uh, we've got a couple of special Munchkin cards. We've got a uh, an awful green thing, uh, which is a character in another one of their game series. Uh, they've given it its own Munchkin card. We have uh, Munchkin Steampunk. Uh, a uh, Professor Tesla's electrical protective device. And uh, for Munchkin Impossible, which I've never played, but sounds like it could be a lot of fun, uh, one that says train training that allows you to have an extra vehicle. The most fun, though, is this uh, Munchkin bookmark of boom and bust. Uh, pretty much, it's a single-use, exceptionally special uh, Munchkin card. And by single-use, I mean one of the conditions of using this is the card goes to one of your friends, or the bookmark goes to one of your friends. The alternative is you rip it in half. But it's a lot of fun. I'll be using it as a regular bookmark because I kind of find it amusing. Uh, so that's uh, the Car Wars stuff that just showed up in my mailbox today. A uh, lot of fun. Again, I'm going to have to dig up someone uh, or a few people to uh, play a good game. I'll clear off the table, put out one of the maps, and uh, we'll go to town on each other with a couple of stock cars uh, filled with 
uh, weapons and armor. Armored beer fridge. Gotta love it. One of the most useful things you can install in your car. Uh, if you are a Car Wars fan, uh, and if you've played Car Wars before, uh, hit me up in the comments below. Tell me some stories of your, uh, your great auto duel matches. Uh, mine, uh, we, we were doing something on one of the stock maps that had alleyways in it. And uh, we got two cars wedged in the alley uh, and had a ton of trouble going backwards or forwards because uh, of all the damage the cars had taken to that point. And it was just a shot for shot uh, test to see which one would fail first. And um, I believe one of the cars just barely got out after its main weapon got knocked out. Uh, which left it kind of driving around, dodging, uh, trying to ram the other car uh, for the rest of the uh, rest of the game. Uh, it, it went on for a little while, but it was very amusing, very entertaining, lots of fun, and that's the sort of stuff that you get at a car war. So if you have a car war story, uh, tell me in the comments down below. If you like what I have to say here, uh, give me a thumbs up down there. If you're subscribed, thank you very much for subscribing. And if you're not subscribed, hit the little subscription thing down there so you can get notified every time I put one of these out. Uh, and if you know anyone else who's interested in this sort of stuff, share this with them so that uh, we can bring them into the conversation. I'm Kier. That's it for tonight. I guess I'll see you tomorrow.